Hello everyone, this is Shishi and today I'm coming on to share with you my AliExpress die haul. I have a lot to share, so I'm going to first start with this set of 20 pieces of dies. I, I didn't have a chance to cut out everything, but I did cut out these two uh, paperclip like dies. I'll share with you what they look like. So this is how it looks, really nice cuts and here is the other piece so really fun set you can make book pages uh, like bible journaling or something like that just really fun set all about book book pages so you can make a big book or a small book so layering set of pages and again, there's 20 pieces. There is a label right here. And I don't know what this piece is right here. I have no idea what that is. But very fun set. So I just wanted to share with you that. This next set that I want to share is a tag set. I'm hoping that it's still available. But I just received it, so I thought I would share in case you got it or it's on the way. It looks like this. And I'm thinking you can make a shaker tag with it. That's what I made. Looks like this. Really fun set. This is what I made with this tag right here. This you can cut out XOXO. And it cuts into the paper, but I'm assuming you can cut it out and that's what I did. I just cut it completely out but this cuts on the edge the XOXO. So I'll show you what this looks like the die. As you can see it has no edge at the bottom of the XOXO. It just cuts on the edge and this is how the other tag cuts uh, I guess you can make a shaker with that one. So here's that. And I have some little lady dies that I also got from AliExpress. So I just put her on the little edge. She's a shopping lady or she could, I guess, be coming home from work with her business luggage. So I'll share with you those dies next. So let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So here are my little ladies. They're kind of small and as you can see they fit nicely on this little tag. So they come in a set of three right there and I guess they look like they're shopping but I thought they were so cute. So really fun and nice size to go on this little tag or on a card. So they have all these different poses and she looks like she's has her little latte or something in her hand. Really, really fun. And I did cut them out. So here they are. And I put her on the tag. And here are the other pieces to that tag set. Um, this came out of the tag. This is one of the pieces that came out. So this goes right here. And then these little pieces came out of the other tag set. And here is one of the arrows that came out. So I guess you can put this on the little tag right here, you know. Or the XOXO, you can cut that into the tag. But I paired these two together because it was a nice, fun size to go with that set. So really really fun and if you're interested in these dies I'll link them in the description box below if they're still available. So next up I like to always find little fashionistas so I got this lady right here and I did um, put some gold shoes on her. I didn't have a chance to finish paper piecing her but here she is drinking some kind of fun drink really fun and sassy 
And then I got her. She's walking her dog and she just finished shopping. So here she is right here. So I love my little fashionistas and they're so sassy. So next up I got some music dies. I thought these were really cute and small. If you want to have someone singing, you want some little music notes to play a tune. These are a really nice size for your cards. And again, here they are. Really nice size and cute. So there you go with those little sizes. Really, really nice. All right, it a heart. It cuts out like this. You can either cut into the paper or you can cut it completely out of the paper. So I'll show you two options. And this is how it looks with it just cutting into the paper. Really pretty. Has this really fun, pretty heart that comes out of the middle. As you can see, it has this little heart. So I save that. You can cut it completely out. And this is how it looks. Really beautiful design. Love that set. Okay. And here is a really nice die. This is the one that everyone really wants and hope that it works correctly. It is the rip strip. So here it is cut into the paper. And what you like to do is have a message behind this and you would tell the recipient to pull it. And then that person would rip it open. Well, rip the message open. Hopefully this will be glued down good and it will rip correctly. But they would rip it open like so and they would reveal the message inside. So I didn't do a good job because it's not glued down. But you get the idea. The person would rip it open. It does work correctly. And then that message inside would reveal. So that is how that works. And I'll link the correct die, the one that cuts this correctly, so that you can reveal the secret message. Okay. This is the next die I want to show. And it comes with this border and the word hugs. And I cut, I like to do this. I like to cut the words into the paper and put something in behind it. But it comes with this all attached. So it makes it easier to line the words up. So here are the letters. And it has that stitching around it, as you can see. Really, really nice. And it fits on an A2 size card. So great there. And I love this bold font, really big size. So great price. Um, I hope it's still available. Um, if it's not, um, you won't see it, but you know, I'll do my best to post all the links. And if it's not available, I'll put next to, you know, the, the name of the, the set. It's no longer available or something like that. I'll write there. So here's the letters and how they looked when it cut, cut out. It's really beautiful letters. There we go. And it also has this little strip piece that comes out. Okay, there's that. Then I have this fun birthday theme, balloon theme background. Really pretty there. And it's a little bit bigger than an A2 size. So you may want to trim down the edges just to t just a hair. So I'll show you that. 
So this is the A2 size and then when I flip it over you can see it goes over just a little bit when I line it up. Okay, so it's just a little bit bigger than an A2 size. So, there you go. Alright, this next one is like a streamer, confetti. You can make this any size you wish. So I made a tag and I backed it with some holographic paper. But you don't have to cut out the whole background. You can do whatever you want. So this is my example for what I made with this background. So just some ideas there. But really fun. You can even back this. Well, I don't know, it might be too busy. But, you know, if you wanted to do the streamers in the background of this die right here. So I don't know. But just an idea. I want to thank you everyone for joining me today. Um, links in the description box below. Have fun shopping. Take care. Have a fabulous day.